Hello everyone, we will continue that topic, persistence class. And in the previous videos, we are covering the update database operation. We validated the input, then we simply use the getter methods so that we will get the details of total amount, order date, currency, yes. And after that, we simply bind it with the parameters which are on the screen. Now user will change. Suppose I'm running this program. Suppose user is putting order number one. Now the things are coming. Now user can change any of these order date, payment mode, total amount and currency. And I already told, we cannot change the primary key. We can only change the non-primary key data, non-primary key column data. Now, input is correct. User will change. Whenever user will click on to execute button, we all know start of selection event will call and we need to update the details for that particular order number. And it is very, very easy. You all know in your CL class, you have the setter methods. So you can set order date, you can set payment mode, you can set total amount, you can set currency, whatever you want to set. We get the details, we get the existing details by getter methods. Now we need to set, we need to change. So we will simply, simply get the order number first using the get persistent method. Then for that order number, we will set these things, whatever user wants to set. You can check in a stable, it's, you can check in class itself. If I will go to SC24 transaction code, we have this CL class and we have the setter methods. So we will simply call the setter methods. Now I will go to our program and we will write the logic as a part of start of selection event. This is our start of selection event. This is insert radio button. This is delete radio button. Now we will go for update. If P underscore R2 is capital X. Firstly, we will get the order number. You all know, yes, whenever you want to get the order number, get persistent method is in your agent class. So we will firstly get the object of agent class. It will be purely, purely copy paste. Now we have the object of the agent class. I will call the method get underscore persistent. So many times we call this method now during the validation part, we did these things. Now we have the get underscore persistent method. Now we will get the object of CL class. Now we will simply call the setter methods. And you, if you remember during insert, we called the setter methods. Firstly, we are creating the order number in case of create, in case of insert. And we are setting the other things for that new order number. In case of update, we are getting the existing order number. Now we will set the various things for that order number. Now I will copy the set. Order date, payment mode, total amount and currency. Never, never forget to write commit one. It is compulsory. Else the changes will not reflect into database table. And it is very easy to understand. We get the order number. We will get the result. Once we have the object of CL class, we are setting the various things which customer want to set. I will check the syntax and I will activate. Now many people ask in case of insert, delete, now you have update also. 
we have not given any message that insert is successful or delete is successful or update is successful. So we will do that part also. So firstly, what I will do, you all know, we should never hard code in one language. We should always use text symbol. So I will simply use text symbol. Go to text elements. Now I will write 0, 0, 0. Suppose that is insert successfully. Insertion successfully. Suppose 0, 0, 001 is deletion successful. And 0, 0, 002 is update success. Updation success. I will activate these text symbols. Now we will use in our program. So firstly, I will go for our insert. This is insert. So I will write the right state, right? Text zero, zero, zero. Suppose we will display the order number also. P underscore O N. So that we will get this order number inserted successfully. Similarly is for delete. It is zero, zero, one. Similarly is for update. I will activate. I will show you insert and delete case there because I already explained insert and delete in that debugging mode. So update we will understand in debugging. Now we will simply check are we getting a message for insert and delete or not. So I will check in the database table first. Okay, we will insert order number eight. I am running. Order number eight, we will insert. I will pass the various things. Just we are in, as we are checking, we are getting a message or not. Insertion successful, eight. If I will refresh. Okay, order number eight. We will delete. Suppose we will delete order number eight itself, which we insert. Others do not matter at all because we are deleting a single record based upon the primary key. Okay. Deletion successful eight. Okay, done. Now we will understand full update into debugging mode so that it will give you more clarity. So I will put a breakpoint in start of selection. I will put a breakpoint in add selection screen. And I will put a breakpoint in add selection screen output event. I will run. Firstly, add selection screen output event will trigger because we all know this event calls every time before displaying a selection screen or input screen. Yes, update radio button is ticked, but nothing. These all four are blank. Now I will execute. Suppose firstly, I will go for wrong order number, which we are updating. I will go for suppose 23. I am putting enter. Now add selection screen event trigger. We have the object of agent class, agent class. Now we are calling get persistent method to check 23 is in the table or not. And you can see 23 is not in the table. So object of CL class did not create. Now if object did not create, this if condition is true and we simply got the message. Yes, order number is incorrect and system stopped here itself. After that, it will not go further. 
now we have this now i am putting right order number suppose i will put one now one is the right order number now third radio button two now we are calling the get persistent method to check is it right order number or not okay now okay yes now we will check is this the right order number or not object of is a object of our ca class is there agent class we are passing order number one and you can see object of cl class is created if the object of cl class created we are getting the various things this is our order date payment mode total amount and currency because we need to show on the screen so we have the order date we have the payment mode we have the total amount and we have the currency now before binding before our selection screen appears this add selection screen output event will trigger and it will simply bind the values with the screen elements and if i will show you now we are binding with screen elements done now suppose user want to change user want to update suppose user is changing the amount to 200 suppose currency to inr suppose payment mode is user is changing c suppose user is changing that date also okay now i will simply go to execute everything is correct so system will simply go for add selection screen will not give any error so system will go to start of selection now you can see our input is correct so i will directly go to now start of selection this is our add selection screen so input is correct now system is on start of selection now this radio button is true so we are getting the order number one order number one is correct so the object of cl class created now we are setting the order date if you see this is the new date we passed so we are setting that date this is the new payment mode we passed we are setting the payment mode now after that we are setting the total amount and you can see this is the total amount 200 we passed now we are setting the currency and currency we passed inr now commit work is compulsory and now we are giving the message updation success if i will check in the database table date changed payment mode total amount and currency so what is the summary of this particular video in this video we checked for the update database operation update is very very you can just say understanding update means what you want to set set means what you want to change so we have the setter methods in the cl class so we simply use the get persistent method to get to of our agent class then we call the setter methods of cl class and i showed you how we can give a message also for the message we simply use the text symbols and i showed you the message in insert and delete also so that's it's all about we covered insert operation update operation and delete database operation and if you see we have not written any query everything is with the help of classes at the initial level i showed you the query but that part also commented so everything we did with the help of classes validations updations everything with the help of persistent class 
So that's it in this video. Thank you.